Oh, hey, welcome back to the workshop. All right, I'm putting together the front suspension again, and I got new bump stops. Um, they don't sell bump stops for a 66 Wildcat. The only ones I could find were like new old stock ones that were like 38 bucks a piece, you know, for a piece of rubber, which I thought I could do better. So I started looking around. I found that these energy suspension for um, like 1970s half ton trucks, uh, 39, 101 in the polyurethane, these fit. These are like pretty much the same size as the originals that were in here. They're a little bit taller. The bases are, are wider. I did have to trim. So like it's definitely way too wide to fit to the slot. So you gotta cut a little bit off. I had a rubber one I was working with. I mangled it, I broke the, the tab. I had a lot of trouble with it. Uh, the reason I got polyurethane is because the top one, I found a set for the top. The only ones I can find were polyurethane. I forget the number, I'll post the number in the comments. But these pulled through like a dream, like it was easy. Um, pliers, I stuck the control arm in a vise, no oil or anything, it slid right through, minimal effort. So I was thinking, oh, maybe if I get polyurethane for the bottoms, I'll have an easier time. I did not. Um, I filed the hole open. I didn't want to alter the control arm, but I did file the hole open a little bit. Um, I mangled the, you know, I tore off some of the pull tab a little bit trying to get it through here. But what finally ended up working was I had to... see how wide this sticks out right and the slot is real narrow and I ended up trimming off I just took a blade you know and I just went down like this and trimmed off a good chunk of that barb from both sides right so it got a little narrower you can kind of you can kind of see it in there. I pulled off, uh, trimmed off there and there. Then I put it in a shop press and just put a little pressure on it, pushed it down and one side popped through. So then I just grabbed some pliers, pulled on it, and uh, I worked around it with a screwdriver. You know, while pulling, I just kind of did, did that to pull it, get it to pop through, man. They weren't kidding. Like I read how to install these and everyone just said, takes a lot of work. You'll beat yourself up doing it, but it's in, it's like rock solid. It's not going anywhere. I managed to get a rubber one in on this side. I tried everything too. put it in the press. I trimmed it, you know, I chewed this one up pretty good. Um, you know, I broke the pull tab. It's a little, it's a little chewed up it actually tore. So I may end up pulling that rubber one out and put the other polyurethane one in because I'm afraid it's going to break if it hit, you know, if it bottoms out. But these are nice and strong. I mean, these can take a beating and they'll last forever. So yeah. Oh, what a pain, but it's in. The suspension's well on its way. All right. That's all. Take care.